Hey everyone, you just got through the bulk of the holidays. Some of you might be watching this video lying down. In fact, I hope that you are. I hope it's not because you're completely wiped out, but that you're getting some rest and early rejuvenation. Because I know you just completed a marathon of preparation. For many of you, your marathon started months ago. For others who are like me, Let's just say it wasn't as much a marathon and more like a 5K because we just started a few weeks ago. But nonetheless, it is chaos. It is shopping, wrapping gifts, cooking, baking, cleaning the house, hosting people over. It takes a ton of energy. I hope that through all of that busyness though, that you got a chance to actually enjoy yourself have a good time, a good meal, good conversation with friends and family. And we are on to the new year. New Year's Eve is just around the corner, so I wanna wish you a happy early one. For many of you, you're really looking forward to it. And for others, you are starting to feel more of a post-holiday blues, and you're not super excited about the new year. You are not alone. In fact, nearly 25% of Americans feel some sort of low to high depression post-holidays. All of the hype, all of the things that are looking forward to, and then it's over at the end of one day. I wanna help you by giving you three quick tips on how to get through those post-holiday blues so that you can look forward to the new year and kick things off in the right way. So. Tip number one is very simple. It's just getting back into routine. So during the marathon of preparation for the holidays, we tend to get out of routine. We're you know, skipping meals, we are skipping our exercise, we're sleeping at odd hours. So notice I focused a lot on the things that have to do with your physical health. That's actually simply where I want you to start. So when you think about routine, I want you to get back into meal planning, meal preparation. If you had a regular routine of when you exercised, get back on that. If you didn't have one, that's gonna be a goal for you in the new year, but more to come on that later. And if you had a routine of when you went to bed, when you woke up, let's get back onto that routine. When it comes to the eating, you gotta think about everything you were eating during the holidays, tons of sugar, lots of fats, and that's okay but get back on the routine. Don't wait for the new year. I want you to start today, this week at the latest. Do not wait for the new year. All right, so now tip number two is to declutter. We get a lot of stuff out during the holidays. Decorations, you've got gifts probably lying around your home. It might look like seriously a bomb exploded in your front living room. I get it. Let's get to work on decluttering some of that. Now, please don't get overwhelmed. I'm not asking you to declutter your entire house. Let's pick one area, not even one room, one area that you can declutter today. Once you've got that decluttered, make a goal for the next area and pick a date, a date within the next you know, three to five days. Don't make it a month from now. If you can once a week or once every two weeks declutter just one area in your home, Think about that by the end of the year, how decluttered your entire home is going to be. When we have less clutter around us, when things are streamlined, we have less stress, we have less anxiety, we're happier, our mind is open, so we wanna get rid of all of that stuff and junk that's lying around. So pick one area to declutter and get that done this week. All right, my third and final tip for you is to plan something that you can look forward to. So that's part of the excitement with the holidays is it's one event or several events, but within a condensed period of time that you really look forward to. And when it's all done, it's like, okay, now what? That's when the depression or the blues can set in. So I want you to plan the next thing that you can look forward to. Easy thing to do is think about the people that maybe you didn't get to spend as much quality time with during the holidays. Maybe it's your spouse, it's a friend, maybe it's yourself. And I want you to get a date on the calendar and put that in as something you can look forward to. 
Now, it doesn't have to be some big extravaganza. It could literally be grabbing coffee with a friend that you haven't talked to in a while or met up with, but something that you truly could be looking forward to. Get that on the calendar so you're thinking about it. So there you have it, three quick tips on how to beat some of those post-holiday blues so that when the new year does roll around, you're in the right headspace to get things started. I'm here to help you live a happy, healthy, balanced life. Until next time.